Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you for staying with us. Your favorite political analyst, Ezeguchu Kudi, is here in the studio with us now for some trending news. And trust me, we have a lot of news to get through. How are you doing today? I'm very fine, ladies. Happy, terrific Tuesday. How are you doing the okay. now? Happy uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. You know, there's so much action going on in the polity. I just wanted to jump right into it. By the way, do you have you. a new haircut? Yes, I did. When? This morning. Ah, you're looking a sharp, sharp, sharp. My so voice sharp. like, oh, you know, they do you want to join the Sweet Home Association? <laughs> yes. But how did that thing start on Instagram? Though? It was, um, there's this very popular, Charles Inoje, who was from a movie, Charles Inoje. You know what we do now? We just got that very interesting part and, and added it to different, and you know boys need to feel fly now. It's a fine, fine voice like us. We know yeah, they're fine boys like us. They know they're too much more like that. Now they're they rush us. <laughs> okay, let's rush into trending stories and see what's going on now. Our very first story. Barely 16 hours after news broke that the leadership of the National Assembly is set to hold an emergency meeting on Tuesday, operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS, have sealed off all entrances leading to the assembly complex. The operatives, according to sources privy to the development, said that they took positions at the various entry and exit points since 2 a.m. on Tuesday, that is today. It was also revealed that efforts by reporters that lawmakers, revealed that lawmakers and staff of the assembly are being prevented from entering the complex. Chukudu, what's going on? It's a very pathetic situation. When I first saw, you know, the first set of videos, I was, I was heartbroken because this is a return to the Gestapo-like kind of administration that we used to have under the military rule. You see, when we talk about building our democracy, we must eschew all forms of desperation to assert authority. The reason why we have the different organs of government is so that they can function independently of each other. Now, sending personnel of the DSS to cordon off the entry to the National Assembly complex and turn back lawmakers and members of staff of the National Assembly from getting access into their office is very, very with irresponsible. What, with what aims and objectives exactly? You see, politicians will always be politicians. And you know, my favorite quote for the past two weeks have been Nikita Khrushchev's, politicians will promise you that they will build, build bridges even when there, there, there is no water. See. You see, we need to understand that we must not toil with our democracy. And as Nigerians, when we begin to just look the other way and say, eh, we don't care, it's a game, let them all play the game, we might be faced with a dangerous situation where we are going to lose our... The, I, I recall growing up as a young boy in Lagos, Nigeria, how I read about the exploits of people like the late Ganifa Wahimi, you know, Anthony Enaoro, Franco Kori, people who gave their all to fight against military rule. Now we have returned to democracy, and in 19 years of uninterrupted democratic rule, it would appear like we are rigmaroling and rigmaroling. This same script played out in 2014. You recall when the Honorable Aminu Tambua, present governor of Sokoto State, who defected then from the PDP to the APC, but has now defected back to the PDP, was prevented from getting access into the National Assembly. It got to the point where they started, you know, um, scaling, the, scaling fence. the fence and the gate of the National Assembly to get into, into, into the complex. It is embarrassing. It is a shame. It is a disgrace that we have sunk to this low. And it is yeah. essentially because of politicians who are desperate to perpetuate themselves in power. But you know but what there's gets no me. Sorry, quickly, mm. before you. But there's no difference between these people. There's no difference mm. because just two weeks ago, a lot of them or some of them were in the APC. Today, they are in the APC, in the PDP or ADC. It doesn't still change the fact that as Nigerians, we need to begin to hold these people accountable and responsible. But you know what gets me, Trikudi? For the past two or three weeks, we have literally been speaking about politicians 24-7. And in a nation, right, you're meant to come with news about the people, Abi. Meanwhile, the news is about the policy because they have literally bombarded all the news that there is in the country. There is nothing to say for the people right now. There is literally nothing to say for the people. And that is where I see a greater problem. A bad news for well, God forbid. INEC CVR continuous voters registration will end on the 17th. And going by INEC calendar, 18th of August, political parties must or should begin the conduct of primaries. My sisters, you are going to hear more of this until after yep, the election. Absolutely. You will hear more of this until after the elections. Do you know why? Because a majority of these people do not care about the average Nigerian. Absolutely. Last week, 
you know, the members of the disco came together to say that they are ready. We did the story here. Yes, we did. That they were going to sell their assets, that they are taking a loss. Remember I told you that it is one week, one drama, one week, one problem. No, no, These things will the overshadow. It's not like a daily every, drama. It will overshadow all the issues that affect the ordinary Nigerian people. And at the end of the day, we go around chasing, you know, what is not important to us. And we miss out on those things that will really improve our lives. Right. What Nigerians must do is understand that contributing their quota to nation building and national development is not just going to get their PVC and coming out on general election day. We must begin to hold these people accountable. First and foremost, we must scrutinize to know the background of those that say they want to represent us from as little as the smallest position as the councillor to the biggest position as the president All of right, the Republic Let's have a feel exactly of how embarrassing it was, the drama at the National Assembly. Take a look at this video. I tell you to shoot this bullet, and Nigeria shall face you. I tell you to shoot this bullet. You cannot come and go back to your station. Go back to your station. You cannot come here and embarrass us and also oppress us here. The same people we are fighting for. Was it the same thing, Jonathan? Date of worry. If good luck had done this, Mubuari have become a president. You cannot do this to us. You start shooting at us. Have you heard? Have you heard? You come here with Mark's face. You come here with bullets in your office. To intimidate who? Enough is enough in Nigeria. Enough. Yes. I just thought of T.Y. Bellows called. Her latest release that she came on the show to speak to us about Chukudi. This is honestly devastating to see. The fact that this is also scaring the citizens. The DSS are there in balaclavas. Your honorable ministers are there shouting. And quite frankly, videos are going viral. And it makes us look like a joke, really. No, it doesn't make us look at eh? it. It is what it is. Oh, it that is a that joke. We are, we are now like a joke. Okay. I mean, we, we discussed extensively when lawmakers scaled the high walls of the National Assembly and the gate to gain access, it will continue like... See, let's not joke. I, I dare to say here that if we continue in this manner, 2022, the year preceding the general election in 2023, we are still going to experience this. We Why? Because it is a struggle for these people to perpetuate themselves in power until the Nigerian people become involved. Such nonsense will continue to happen. We to enjoy more of this, our Ugon get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.